Welcome to our The Consumer Brief program. Today, we're diving into some fascinating stories that are sure to keep you on the edge of your seat. First up, Indiana is taking a bold step to enhance road safety with their Buckle Up Phone Down initiative, aiming to cut down on distracted driving and speeding incidents. The state is also rolling out a new Safe Zones initiative to improve safety in work zones with the help of automated cameras. It's all part of a decade-long plan to reduce serious injuries and fatalities on the roads. Next, Ohio has made headlines with its first legal recreational cannabis sales. Customers are eager but are facing high prices at the dispensaries. It's a historic moment, but the cost might be a bit of a buskill for some. Lastly, we've got the scoop on a summer essential, the Gisulife 3 in one handheld fan. This versatile little gadget is winning rave reviews on Amazon for its cooling power and portability. It's perfect for keeping cool on the go and even doubles as a power bank and flashlight. Please stay tuned for the detailed coverage of these stories. Yahoo US, at the Elkhart Chamber of Commerce's annual Indot Luncheon, Elkhart County leaders were briefed on various road safety initiatives by the Indiana Department of Transportation, Indot. Angela Nicholson, the Fort Wayne District Capital Program Management Director, highlighted the alarming rise in distracted driving and speeding post-pandemic. To counter this, INDOT aims to reduce severe injuries and fatalities by 25% over the next decade through initiatives like Buckle Up Phone Down, encouraging drivers to buckle up and avoid phone usage. Another initiative, Indiana's Safe Zones, will utilize automated detection cameras in work zones to enforce speed limits, aiming to change driver behavior and enhance safety. Nicholson also discussed several local projects, including the Sunnyside Avenue Railroad Grade Separation Project and the US 33 added travel lanes which are part of a broader effort to improve road infrastructure and safety, despite budgetary challenges. Yahoo US, Ohio recently commenced legal recreational marijuana sales, with the Terracina Dispensary in Springfield providing a glimpse into the new shopping experience. Customers, like Chuck Enko, were surprised by the clinical setup, where they are paired with a dispensary worker to discuss their desired cannabis experience. General Manager Megan Suttles explained the different effects of sativa and indica strains and encouraged customers to keep track of their experiences to find what works best for them. However, the high prices, driven by a 10% marijuana sales tax in addition to regular sales tax, caught many off guard. Brandon Nauman, who had previously bought marijuana in Michigan, noted the stark price difference, attributing it to the newness of the market in Ohio. Prices are expected to decrease as the supply increases and the market stabilizes. Yahoo US, for men who typically shy away from reading, five engaging novels have been recommended to reignite their interest in fiction. City of Thieves, by David Benioff, set in war-torn Russia, combines humor and raw emotion in a tale of two young men on an impossible mission. Andy Weir's Project Hail Mary offers a gripping science fiction story about a lone man's mission to save Earth. This Tender Land, by William Kent Kruger, despite its gentle title, is a riveting adventure of four orphans during the Great Depression. Anthony Doerr's All the Light We Cannot See provides a dazzling World War II narrative intertwining the lives of a blind Parisian girl and a German soldier. Lastly, The Gunkel by Stephen Rowley, recommended for its lighthearted yet insightful take on life, parenting, and grief. For those preferring nonfiction, Unbroken by Laura Hillenbrand and Frozen in Time by Mitchell Zukoff offer compelling survival stories. Yahoo US Amgen reported a slight dip in second-quarter profit, down 1%, as increased expenses overshadowed a significant 20% rise in revenue linked to their acquisition of Horizon Therapeutics. The company's adjusted earnings of $4.97 per share narrowly missed the $5 average analyst estimate. Despite a slight revenue beat at $8.39 billion, Amgen's shares fell 1.5% after hours. Key highlights include a 25% sales rise for Repitha, contrasted by a 15% decline for Enbrel. Horizons to Petsa and Christexa also saw increases. Excluding Horizon, product sales grew 5%. The focus remains on the experimental weight loss drug Maritide, with phase 3 trials anticipated soon. Amgen has adjusted its 2024 financial outlook, raising revenue and capital spending projections. Yahoo US, moving to New York City from the Midwest left me with blistered, sore feet from all the walking. My mom, a 66-year-old nurse, recommended Madewell's sidewalk low-top sneakers, which combine comfort with style. These shoes, which feel like walking on a cushy yoga mat, require no break-in period and fit snugly, making them perfect for long walks right out of the box. I've bought multiple pairs since 2019, and they remain durable and stylish. Despite minor updates, the design remains simple and versatile. 
While they lack arch support, their comfort and durability make them a favorite among many, including myself and numerous other satisfied customers. Yahoo US, this summer's heat has made the Gisulife 3 in one handheld fan a popular choice, with over 44,000 positive reviews. This fan, shaped like a bear, offers up to 21 hours of cooling, folds into a compact size, and includes a USB power bank and flashlight. Perfect for outdoor activities or as a desk fan, it keeps users cool and their devices charged. Reviewers praise its portability, battery life, and cooling power, though some note it's a bit noisy indoors and challenging to open. Despite minor drawbacks, it's a summer essential for many, especially during hot flashes or trips to places like Disney World. Yahoo US reports that Designer Brands, the parent company of DSW, has launched the Designer Brands Foundation to bolster its philanthropic efforts. This new foundation focuses on empowerment, inclusion, and support for local communities. Funded by DBI and customer donations, the foundation has already made significant contributions, including a $50,000 donation to Girls on the Run International. Additionally, the foundation has pledged $100,000 in community grants for its first year and has committed over $4 million to Sol's Four Souls for providing footwear to those in need. Amy Jo Donohue, Senior Vice President of Human Resources, emphasized that the foundation aims to make a meaningful impact and support diverse communities. Yahoo US highlights the CeraVe e Skin Renewing Night Cream, a top-rated product on Amazon with over 35,000 five-star reviews. Priced at just $17, this night cream is celebrated for its hydrating and skin-protecting ingredients like hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and three essential ceramides. Reviewers praise its effectiveness in improving skin texture, reducing fine lines, and maintaining hydration without causing irritation. Developed with dermatologists, the fragrance-free and non-comedogenic formula is suitable for sensitive skin. Despite some complaints about its thick consistency, the cream remains a fan favorite for its affordability and results. Yahoo US also reports on Manchester United's ongoing negotiations with Fulham over the transfer of Scott McTominay. United is holding out for a £30 million package, having already rejected three offers from Fulham. The club aims to make additional sales to stay within profit and sustainability rule limits and pursue other targets, particularly a midfielder. However, the market has been slow, and high wages have deterred interest in other players like Jadon Sancho and Aaron Wambasaka. Despite the challenges, Fulham is expected to continue negotiations, with hopes of reaching a mutually beneficial agreement. Yahoo US, inspired by a friend's savvy shopping trip, I discovered an $8 foldable tote bag that's a game-changer for travel and daily errands. This versatile bag, available on Amazon, is perfect for those just-in-case moments when you need extra storage. Compact enough to fold into a wallet-sized pouch, it expands to reveal a roomy interior with an external pocket and a trolley sleeve for easy transport. Made from water-resistant material with sturdy handles and a double zipper, it's ideal for carrying groceries, gym gear, or beach essentials. With over 2,000 five-star reviews, users praise its convenience and compactness, although some caution it's not suited for heavy-duty use or fragile items. One reviewer highlighted its utility during a recovery period, noting how it fit perfectly over their walker handles. Another found it streamlined their grocery shopping, allowing them to organize items as they shopped. For those looking for a practical and space-saving solution, this foldable duffel bag is a must-have. Plus, you can snag two for just $9, making it an even better deal. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 do brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 do brief via email.